Okay, so hello everyone. I'm uh, Benjamin Faure. I'm the lead developer of uh, DMP Opido, which is the French uh, instance of uh, DMP Roadmap. So today I will talk to you about the past, present, and future of uh, DMP Opido. Um, so first, of, a bit of history. So DMP Opido was launched in uh, 2016 in November. And it was uh, at, at the time an instance of uh, DMP Online uh, v4. And uh, when the DMP roadmap code base uh, was launched, uh, we migrated to uh, the v1 uh, in uh, June uh, 2018. And we are currently based on the DMP roadmap uh, 2.1.7 version. Uh, that's the version that's, that is running on our live server. Um, we we have made some contribution to the DMP roadmap uh, code base. Uh, first of all, the notification system. So when you see uh, a little message saying that there will be a maintenance of something, uh, please think about us. Uh, the second um, the second contribution we made uh, was the the one click uh, plan creation. Uh, which you can see on the uh, templates page. Um, uh, you can create, uh, on this page, you can see all the templates uh, available uh, in the in DMP online or DMP, uh, DMP roadmap. I think on, uh, on their version, it's uh, only the founders templates. And uh, when you click on the plus button, you can uh, directly create a new, uh, a new plan uh, based on, uh, on this uh, template. And uh, we, I think we, we have uh, corrected, corrected some uh, other bugs and uh, I, uh, I submitted some issues to the, to the roadmap uh, team. Uh, uh, over, the, over the time, uh, our community uh, has grown and uh, we, have, uh, we had a lot of feedback uh, about uh, Functionalities and feature, uh, features that uh, the community wanted to, uh, integrated uh, in our instance. Um, one of these features was uh, the plan creation that we um, we uh, overhauled. Uh, we, we changed. Uh, we completely changed uh, the way we you could uh, you can create uh, your plan. So when uh, you go on the create plan uh, page. You can see all the all the other templates uh, available um, for your organization. So as you can see in, in this slide, uh, my organization doesn't have a, a, new, a template available. So there's a message for that. Uh, you can see uh, at the top uh, we have um, an indication of what the default template is, and if you want to use uh, this uh, default template, you have a button to to create a plan based on this, on this template. Uh, if you go into, uh, on the next uh, tab, uh, you can uh, use the template of another organization. For example, uh, here it's uh, the INRAE. And if, if this organization have multiple templates, you can choose uh, in, the, in the list uh, a template in one uh, in the list, and the last uh, the last tab is uh, for the founder templates. So it's just pretty much the same thing. You can uh, you can search for a founder and uh, choose one of the templates. Uh, we've uh, added uh, the research output support, uh, which is uh, one of the main feedback we had uh, over the years. So when you create a new plan, you have a default template, a default research output that is uh, created uh, for your plan. And if you want, you can create uh, you can create a new um, new uh, research output. So uh, you can create as much as you want. We have we had some uh, some people creating uh, thirty uh, research output. Uh, you can uh, you can choose an abbreviated name that, which is used uh, in the interface and the full name that is a, a more descriptive name of the of your research output and uh, you can choose a type uh, indicating uh, what uh, what your data are about and uh, that this uh, this list of uh, types is based on the um, on the data site uh, 
uh, schema. I think it's a resource, uh, resource uh, type uh, in the data site uh, schema. Uh, so when you have created your research output, uh, you can uh, you can see that there's uh, tabs that are created in your uh, in your right plan uh, um, tab in uh, in your um, Sorry, in your uh, in your DMP, and uh, you can uh, you can fill uh, you can uh, answer the questions for each research output, and if you want, you can uh, add uh, some comments uh, for uh, a given uh, answer. And uh, finally, we've added some uh, download settings for your exports, so you can uh, you can export uh, one of. Uh, if you want, you can export just your first uh, research output. And uh, there's, a, there's a mode that, uh, an export mode that you can choose. So it will reformat your, your exports uh, uh, based on uh, what you choose. Uh, we have uh, other smaller features. Uh, as I said, uh, our available template list is uh, displaying all the available templates. In, uh, in our in DMP OPDOR, and uh, that's the one click plan creation. Uh, we have some features for user cleaning. Uh, with, uh, we have the, an ins, an ins, um, we have an, an organization in France that uh, impose uh, you to, uh, to delete uh, personal data in, uh, in, in websites if, uh, if the users uh, ask for it. So we we anonymize, I guess. I, uh, we anonymize the user uh, account uh, if uh, this user doesn't uh, connect after uh, five years, and uh, we just we and we delete uh, the users that haven't accepted uh, an invitation. For example, if you uh, add a user to your plan and it doesn't create an account, so it will be uh, deleted from our database. Uh, we have an org deactivation uh, features. Uh, that's more for the for us, because we had a lot of uh, of organization uh, fusing together. For example, uh, uh, we had uh, universities uh, on Paris and uh, other and other um, and other places uh, that uh, fuse uh, fuse together. So we uh, we wanted to. Uh, to be able to uh, to deactivate uh, the the organism the organizations, and we've added some uh, information on the, our feedback pl feedback plans. Uh, so it was uh, we added a requester and the request date uh, that is displayed for the the administrator. So we are currently working on uh, machine actionable uh, DMP features. Uh, our approach about uh, machine actionable uh, DMP is that we want uh, to have a, the, con the content of uh, the DMP to we want it to be more structure structured. So we uh, we made a new data model. So I will change uh, the window. Do you see the the zoomed in the picture? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is your data model. It's uh, I think it's based on the uh, RDA uh, common standard model, but it it, it has uh, more information in it. And uh, here you can see you can see uh, how the data uh, are, is structured in our database. So uh, you you have a, a DMP container that, which contains the metadata about the DMP and uh, the metadata about the project. And you, are, you have here another container which contains all the, the information about uh, the research outputs. And the main information about uh, the DMP is, is, uh, is here. So you can see there's uh, the research output description, uh, information about uh, data reuse or personal data issues. Uh, you have uh, information about legal issues or data storage, and uh, you can uh, see there's information about the budget. Sorry, the budget, 
And at the bottom uh, right, uh, you have uh, a specific data, uh, which is uh, more specific information for institution that have uh, a type of information that are not uh, supported for in our uh, instance, in our data model, sorry. So based on this model, we, we've made some, uh, some uh, development. Uh, this model is described in uh, in, uh, J in uh, JSON, and uh, this uh, JSON uh, schema is used to generate uh, forms in uh, DMP Opidor. So on the left, you can see that uh, we have uh, here it's pro it's uh, the schema about uh, data reuse. So you have uh, some information. The first one is uh, the justification of your data reuse which is uh, uh, a string. And uh, you can see there's uh, information about, uh, about uh, the label which is displayed in the form and the type of inputs. So you can see it's a text area. So there's a text area displayed in our form. And uh, the second property is about uh, reuse data. So here you can describe uh, precisely how the data, which data are reused and um, you can see there's there's a list uh, there's a tab a table that it's create that is created uh, in our form um, you can create multiple uh, multiple data uh, re reuse research output and uh, when uh, when you click on the create button or the modify button you can yeah there's a, a model uh, window that uh, that uh, opens and you can uh, type your information about uh, your uh, the linked information to the uh, to the reuse data. So uh, if I think it's it's here, so you see there's uh, your data reuse that is here, and uh, I think it's maybe missing. Uh, there should be um, uh, a box about. Uh, describing the, the reuse data. So when you save your form, uh, all the data from the form and uh, the model window are saved in, as a, a JSON form, uh, as a JSON in our database. So on the, uh, on the right side, you can see that how the data is, uh, is saved in uh, the database. Um, each part of information is uh, stored separately. So if, if you want just to pull the reuse data from the database, you can uh, just, you can just uh, extract uh, this information. But uh, for the sake of uh, the demonstration, I just uh, put your fu the full information uh, for the reuse data. Uh, our plan is to develop uh, more APIs uh, for extracting uh, all this new information. So you can, uh, you could extract, uh, for example, you, the full DMP uh, if you want uh, all the information of about uh, in your DMP. You can uh, extract uh, extract it. But if you want uh, just uh, the information about uh, one research output, uh, you could extract it uh, from. Uh, from your DMP. Oops. Uh, if you want, you can extract uh, just one property. Uh, for example, if you want uh, just your uh, the justification, uh, it's possible. And uh, if you want, you can uh, to filter the the content of the DMP. So by filtering, uh, I mean that, uh, for example. Um, we want uh, one of the latest version of uh, DMP roadmap was uh, adding um, uh, uh, API clients. Yes, it's what it's called. Uh, when uh, you are the super admin of uh, a roadmap, a DMP roadmap instance, uh, you can create a new, uh, you can declare API client, uh, which can uh, which can use the API and uh, extract information uh, in the DMP. And uh, we, can, we could uh, use uh, this feature combined uh, with, uh, with uh, our new API to uh, allow uh, 
to filter which kind of information uh, one API client can use, uh, can access, sorry. So for example, um, a storage facility could access only the information about, uh, uh, about storage or a founder can, could access uh, information about uh, the project and uh, maybe uh, the budget of your DMP. So you can, uh, you can use, um, you can use, uh, you can declare uh, filters uh, in uh, the, in the application and uh, these filters could be used to, uh, to pull, uh, to pull uh, some kind of information, uh, uh, which uh, some kind of information depending on the, the client uh, using the, the, the API. Sorry. Uh, that's all for me. Uh, I want to thank uh, you for listening to me and to, I want to thank uh, the DCC and uh, CDL uh, team uh, for maintaining the roadmap code and uh, doing uh, all these wonderful uh, new features and, uh, and the latest one, uh, which is the Rails, uh, Rails 5 migration, which is, uh, I think it was a, a big, uh, a big uh, development. So thank you, everyone.